Greetings from Canada. This is Blaine from Watt Hour Storage. I've updated some of my batteries over the winter and I've been waiting for a nice day to, to film them outside. I was thinking that would be the way to do it, but the shadows are still pretty brutal. But um, bear with me and uh, I thank you for uh, tuning in. This is uh, an an updated version of my 12 volt that I built three and a half years ago. And since we're using LiPo 4, I've got a, probably another couple of decades left with it. So some some of these might be lasting people most of their lives, these uh, batteries. And if we put it in a case where you can get access to everything, um, it's extremely serviceable. So the fuses and uh, the relays and um, things like that um, it's something you, sh you should be able to be able to service uh, down the road instead of having to throw the whole thing out if something goes wrong with it because it would cost too much to ship it back so if the cell technology gets that much greater we can replace the cells and if I don't see where the, the components any of the components will go bad maybe the Victron battery protect that's, that's in there maybe it'll have to be updated but as of it's all serviceable it's 100% uh, serviceable you will never have to throw this out I'm hoping that people will keep this forever the mindset here of this battery um, being a 24 volt is for someone one puts it in this trailer and uh, pull it out during the winter months and uh, maybe have it in the house uh, during emergencies so this setup is just uh, um, with this type of a case I like love that it has an indentation on both sides and this way I can take a ratchet strap I can take it down. I actually pull this handle out a little bit and then uh, put the ratchet strap through it and then put the handle through it. And then that strap doesn't, doesn't then move and uh, it's nice and secure uh, load. But it's also then, uh, you know, it's not impossible to, to take it out. So some of the features of this is Max 60, Max 30, XT90. Okay. Anderson and this Anderson is being or this Anderson has its own fuse this XT90 is being controlled off this um, breaker here and before I go to the other side this is an 8, 8s input and this will have nine pins and so I'm taking the which are pretty serious size pins so we can put uh, like 20 amps for for balancing so I'll show you that in a separate video. I've been definitely trying to um, raise the raise the bar, raise the game on that to make it even quicker. So I've been able now to to balance the balance the battery within almost an hour. Um, then on the opposite side here we have a 100 amp, and that controls this uh, controls this Anderson on this side. So let's just plug in the inverter okay it'll stay off for now no green light no green light here and that's because I've got it set up on the remote and the remote cable from the inverter is this character here but I want to first oh and uh, I should say that there's let's make a shadow here there's no lights on on that uh, an electrical cord so here's the Electrodocus. Again, um, dual BMS. So the Electrodocus is controlling the, the positive side. There's a battery protecting here. So it, it's built inside. So even if you use this on a different type of inverter, it doesn't matter. Like if you have multiple inverters, it doesn't matter. The battery protect stays inside. Okay. And then the secondary BMS, which is the backup one, is is a JK and it's the JK that has a two amp balancing port. So it, it does have its own internally balancing right now. 
Okay, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. But the idea is, is that this guy will do all the heavy lifting. It'll disconnect the loads on the high and and um, in on the on the low battery or you know, voltage disconnect. But the the idea that's always preferable if it's if it's controlling the inverter, and that's what this does. Um, many different types of inverters have that remote on and off, so we'll take advantage of that, and that's what this will do. And then it's much easier on uh, on all the components. Okay, so let's just hook up one here. Again, we got lots of shadows and trees. Okay, so nothing great, nothing crazy, and then the second one. So this is a DSR-50, and the idea with the DSR-50 is that it'll give you over f slightly over 50 amps, but you can have almost 30 amps per side. So it, yeah, maybe what happens is you have 30, 20, or things like that, but it's always nice to have, instead of everything, to one MPPT. Um, due to the out of the shadows and stuff like that as you can see even myself is creating quite the shadow so it's nice to have it split up like that so that it uh you maximize you maximize what you're bringing in with the pv and the other thing i should say is you can still charge and i recommend that you charge through one of these ports and then this will disconnect your charger when it gets to if any of the sales gets to that, what you know, the threshold of the 3.6. Okay, so that's a great, great feature. I love that feature. So it'll control your charger and control your inverter. It uh, instead of having to disconnect the load, it's it's, it's shutting the, the device that's doing the charging, just like it used to be in the old days with lead acid batteries, the way it should be. All right, uh, enough rambling. Let's uh, finish this off and. Uh, if I'm quiet, you'll hear the inverter click click on. Okay, little green light, inverter on. Impossible to show, but whatever. Oh, maybe I get it right there. You can see the little lights. Okay. So this can be made in 12 volt, 24 volt, and uh I'm going to be giving these with uh, some definite warranty to them, and uh, I look forward to any questions.